if instead we've got a some kind of linear transformation of um, an ex, uh, a discrete random variable, then uh, this result can be useful for speeding up our um, method for getting to the new probability generating function. So let's have a look at example two. So here's our probability generating function for x and y is defined as 5x plus 2. So probability distribution for x picked out from our um, probability generating function. We now write down the probability distribution for y. So we get our x's by multiplying by 5 and adding 2 and same set of probabilities. And then if we now work out the um, probability generating function for y from our probability distribution. You can see that that will be equal to t squared times the thing that's in the bracket, which is the same as the probability generating function of t to the 5. So that confirms the above result that the probability generating function for y, where y is equal to 5x plus 2, is equal to t squared, so t to the power of 2, gx of t to the 5. Okay, um, so that's in the correct form, justifying the uh, above results. So here where we've noted it's not included in the specification, what we mean by this is that that formula is not provided in the formula booklet. So that little special case result for a linear transformation of a discrete random variable is one that you need to remember. Um, you can always do it the long way around, but it's useful to know that to speed up uh, the process for that kind of question. If we go on now and work out the expectation for x using our normal method, so differentiate sub in 1, we get our expected value for x to be 1.6 and then if we work out our expectation for y, differentiating y, substituting in 1, then we'll get the expectation for y to be equal to 10 and this confirms the result that we met earlier in combinations of discrete random variables that the expected value of y will be equal to 5 times the expected value of x plus 2 supporting the result from uh, an earlier module when we did discrete random variables and the combinations uh, of them okay um, so that just backs up um, that earlier result and uses probability generating functions to justify 